We went 5-1 and one in our six premium sports picks on BrockPage.com yesterday. We're also 4-0 in our last four board member tier package picks on that very same webpage. And the good news is we have another board member tier package pick going off here today. We currently have over 915 members who are signed up and active on BrockPage.com. And if you want to see which one of these free YouTube picks on my channel that I'm actually betting on personally... There's only one way to do that, and that's to sign up for a membership on my website at brockpage.com. The Celtics take on the Hornets, 7 o'clock Eastern tip-off here this evening. Boston is minus one, totals 224 and a half. The Celtics have lost two of three to open up the season, one and two against the number during that span. Jalen Brown is questionable for tonight's contest. Langford's questionable as well. Boston's currently in the bottom 10 in offensive field goal percentage. They're also allowing 117 points a game, and they rank in the bottom five in defensive rebounding as well. They're taking on a Charlotte team who's certainly had no uh, issues scoring. Miles Bridges is averaging 25 points a game, eight rebounds, and nearly three steals a night for the Ford. Bridges is also making over 44% of his three-pointers, and he's shooting 94% from the stripe. LaMelo Ball, he's also averaging 22 points a game, along with six assists and a couple of steals. Melo's draining 50% of his three balls. And speaking of three-pointers, the 3-0 three Hornets are in the top 10 in shooting the three ball. They're averaging 119 points a game. Now, total-wise, two out of Charlotte's last three got over the number. 7-3 to the over in their last 10 against Boston. I'm going to lean towards Charlotte, plus 1 in the over, 224.5. Next game, Bucks Pacers, 7 o'clock East. Milwaukee's minus 3, totals 230. The 2-1 and Bucks are averaging over 114 points a game, and they rank in the top 10 in fourth quarter scoring. Giannis Antetokounmpo, he's scoring over 22.5 points a night. 10 boards, 5 assists for the Greek Freak. Meanwhile, Chris Middleton's averaging over 19 points a game himself. 4 rebounds, 3 assists for Middleton. Now, Holiday's doubtful. Lopez is out. Uh, so when it comes to the injury report, keep that in mind. I think that's why this number's so small. NBA betters really overreact to injuries. Now, they're taking on a 1-2 and two Indiana team who's allowing their opponents to make nearly 41% of their 3-pointers against them. The Pacers are also in the bottom 10 in points allowed per game. Lavert and Martin are still out for the Pacers. When it comes to the total in this one, two out of Indiana's three contests on the year got over the line. Milwaukee's 2-0 to the over on the road. I'm going to lean toward Milwaukee, minus three in the over 230. Next game, Magic Heat, 730 East. Miami's minus 14, totals 213 and a half. Now, this is an awfully big number for a team who's playing without Victor Oladipo and potentially Kyle Lowry uh, here tonight. Now, Miami's coming fresh off a double-digit loss to Indiana, where they scored just 91 total points. Now, the Heat's also in the bottom 10 in the association in third quarter scoring. They're taking on a Magic team who held the Knicks to just 104 points in their victory against them yesterday. And despite a handful of injuries right now, Orlando's still being led by Terrence Ross, who's averaging 16 points a game, along with 50% shooting from beyond the arc. Cole Anthony is also scoring over 16 points per contest, along with seven boards, six assists. The Magic's in the top five in the league in fourth quarter scoring. Now, total-wise, Orlando's 2-0 to the over when traveling, 3-0 to the over for the entire season. I'm going to lean toward Orlando, plus 14 in the over, 213 and a half. Next matchup, Wizards, Nets, 7.30 Eastern start time. The Brooklyn Nets are minus eight, totals 233 and a half. The Nets have lost two out of their last three, bottom 10 in the league in scoring. Brooklyn's averaging only 104 points per game. Meanwhile, defensively, Brooklyn's giving up 116 points per contest. They're taking on a Washington team who's on a two-game winning streak. 2-0 against the number in those victories. The Wizards are averaging 117 points a game, and they're shooting 49% from the field. 
Spencer Dinwiddie scoring 23.5 points a game, 5 rebounds, 7 assists for the guard. Spencer's also making 67% of his three-pointers. Meanwhile, Kyle Kuzma is dropping 18.5 points a night himself, 3 rebounds, 4 assists for Kuz. Now keep an eye on Bradley Beal. He's questionable for tonight's action. Once again, that's why this number's you know so big. Uh, but it's reasonably justified because Beal's a huge player. Now, Roy Hachimura, he's out. But regardless, we're still looking at a Washington team who's been really good defensively too. They're holding their opponents to just 32% shooting from beyond the arc. When it comes to the total in this one, Washington's officially 1-0 to the under on the road. Brooklyn's 3-0 to the under for the entire season. I'm going to lean toward Washington plus 8 and the under 233.5. Next ball game, Pistons, Hawks, 7.30 Eastern tip-off. Atlanta's minus 10.5, totals 213. But as good as the Hawks have been defensively, I'm not sure they've been scoring enough to help cover this number. Atlanta's averaging only 104 points a game, and they're in the bottom 10 in offensive field goal percentage. They scored only 95 points against Cleveland in a loss the other night. They also have Danilo Gallinari listed as questionable. They're taking on a Detroit club who's allowing 95 points a game themselves. Jeremy Grant's averaging two and a half blocks a game, along with nearly two steals a game as well. Meanwhile, Sadiq Bey is grabbing 10 and a half defensive rebounds per contest, 12 and a half total rebounds a game. The Pistons are in the top three and fewest fourth quarter points allowed. When it comes to the number in this one, both teams are 2-0 to the under, respectively. Atlanta's also averaged just 108 points per contest in their last 10 meetings with Detroit. I'm going to lean toward the Detroit Pistons, plus 10.5, and, and the under 213. Next game, Bulls, Raptors, 7.30 Eastern start. The Chicago Bulls are minus 3, totals 212.5. The undefeated Bulls have also gone 3-0 against the number in all three of their victories. Chicago's played some really good defense, holding their opponents to just 94 points a game. Nikola Vucevic is averaging double-digit rebounds a game on the defensive end of the court. Meanwhile, Lonzo Ball is averaging two blocks a game himself. Chicago's holding their opponents to just 30% shooting from downtown. They're taking on a Toronto club who's scoring only 97 points a game. They're 0-2 straight up at home. The Raptors are in the bottom three in offensive field goal percentage, and they're shooting only 26% from beyond the arc. Pascal Siakam's still out indefinitely. Uh, Watanabe is out with a calf. When it comes to the total in this one, Toronto's 2-0 to the under at home, 3-0 to the under for the whole season. Meanwhile, two out of Chicago's last three stayed under the line. I'm going to lean toward Chicago, minus three, and the under 2 12 and a half. Next contest, Pelicans, T-Wolves, 8 o'clock Eastern start time. The Minnesota Timberwolves are minus 5.5, totals 226. The 2-0 Timberwolves are allowing only 97 points a game. And they hold their opponents to just 27% shooting from three land. Reed and McLaughlin, they're averaging a couple of steals a game. Towns and McDaniels, they're averaging uh, a couple of blocks a game themselves. Now, Minnesota's in the top five in the NBA in defensive field goal percentage. They're taking on a winless Pelicans team who failed to cover in two out of their last three losses. Williamson's still out. Hart and Holmes are questionable. Now, the Pelicans are averaging only 99 points a game, and they rank in the bottom 10 in offensive field goal percentage. Now, total-wise, two out of the Pelicans' last three fell under the line. Meanwhile, Minnesota's 2-0 to the under on the season themselves. I'm going to lean toward the Minnesota Timberwolves, minus five and a half, and the under 226. Next contest, Cavaliers, Nuggets, nine o'clock east. The Denver Nuggets are minus ten and a half, totals 219. The 2-0 Nuggets are in the top three in defensive rebounding. And they're allowing only 97 points a game. Jokic and Green, they're averaging a couple of steals a game. Jokic is also averaging 11 Defensive rebounds a game as well. They're taking on a 1-2 and two Cleveland squad who failed to cover in two out of their first three ball games. Now, the Cavs are also shooting just 30% from three land. Windler and Garland, they're both listed as questionable for tonight's game. 
Now, total-wise, Cleveland's 5-2 and two to the under in their last seven meetings with Denver. So if you're into historical trends, certainly keep that in mind. Meanwhile, the Nuggets are 2-0 to the under thus far in the season. I'm going to lean toward Denver, minus 10 and a half. And the under 219. And with that, guys, we're going to jump into our next and final matchup. It is going to be Blazers versus the Clippers, 1030 Eastern tip-off. LA's minus three, totals 231 and a hook. The 0-2 Clippers are dead last in the league in defensive field goal percentage. LA's allowing 118 points a game. They're letting their opponents make nearly 50% of their field goals. They're also letting their opponents make a staggering 45% of their three-pointers against them. They're taking on a Portland team who's the league leader in scoring. And they make nearly 52% of their field goals themselves. C.J. McCollum's averaging 31 points a game, four rebounds, three assists for the guard. Meanwhile, Damian Lillard scoring 19.5 points a game, along with 9.5 assists. The Blazers are in the top 10 in shooting the three ball, first and third quarter scoring. When it comes to the total on this one, Portland's 2-0 to the over on the season. The Clippers are officially 1-0 to the over as the home team. I'm going to lean toward Portland plus three. And the over 231 and a half. And with that, guys, now it's time for our quick pick recap. Power to you by my website at broadpage.com, where we are 4 0 in our last four board member tier package picks. I like Charlotte plus one over 224 and a half. Milwaukee minus three over 230. Orlando plus 14 over 213 and a half. Washington plus eight under 233 and a hook. Detroit plus 10 and a half under 213. Chicago minus three under 212 and a half. Minnesota minus five and a half under 226. Denver minus 10 and a half under 219. Before I give you my next and final free pick for the video, one final reminder that we are 4-0 in our last four board member tier package picks on brockpage.com. We're also 5-0 in our last... We're also 5-0 in our last five extra daily picks on that very same site. I'm going to lean toward Portland plus three and the over 231 and a half. And with that, guys, now it's time for our shout out of the day. And that's going to go to Tariq B, who said uh, yesterday, great picks as usual, brother. Happy Sunday, Tark. Happy, uh, well, now happy Monday to you, Tark or Tariq. I'm sorry. I, I'm I'm not sure what it is, either Tarek or Tariq. Uh, thank you for taking the time to comment, and uh, happy Sunday and Monday to you. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me. Don't forget to check me out on brockpage.com. If you guys do end up getting a membership here today on that website, just keep in mind, you're going to get billed the day you sign up and then the first of every month following that. So if you do end up getting a membership here today on brockpage.com, you are going to get access to that content all the way through the end of October. I do always tell folks in every single video, the earlier in the month you sign up, the better. But most importantly, guys, got to thank you for joining me right here on YouTube. I really hope you enjoyed all this great free content, all this great free information. And with that said, guys, happy Monday to you. Best of luck to you. And I look forward to seeing you later on today on my website at brockpage.com.